Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Wood Times in the 207. Thanks for joining us. If you're new here, my name is Adam, and we do mainly firewood and mill lumber. Uh, a lot, most of the firewood we do is camp wood, but uh, today has been a day of sawing live edge slabs. Uh, it's all hardwood. Don't normally do a lot of live edge slabs. Our sawmill, you go back and look at some of our other videos, is a Woodland Mills HM122. It's a small mill. In between the blade guides, we've only got about 20 inches. Seems like most of the time, the live edge slabs, people want stuff that's fairly wide. Um, hadn't done much of it for a while, but it seems like when you don't have something on hand, people are asking about it and wanting to know if you have some. So, I've been trying to clean the wood yard up and had some stuff that's been kicking around for a while and figured I'd saw it all out live edge. I did saw some maple, an uh, inch and a half thick by eight inch wide that was kind of spalted. In the firewood world would call that punky or dozy or something like that, but in the lumber world it's called spalted, so seems to be a pretty good demand for that. So figured I'd try to build up some inventory. I've already taken oh, one load about this size home and I'm putting everything in my shed to keep it under cover and dry and that way when someone asks if we have it, I can show it to them. So, um, this all this stuff in the truck here is ash been kicking around for three or four years now really neat got some really neat character to it I'll see if i can move you over here without shaking you around too much but you know how well you can see this stuff here but there's some really neat swirls and colors in the green some of that had been wet but uh I think it might be good for someone that looking to make some tables or something like that. But uh, some of it's got some defects, some knot holes, or maybe some ant holes, stuff like that. Maybe people want to make uh, those epoxy river tables. Oops. I've done quite a bit in the past with some of this. Oh, three or four years ago now, I guess. Most of it was maple and cherry. Didn't seem to have any problem selling it. Um, all these ash slabs all came from from one big log that I cut into three pieces. They all vary six foot to eight foot long. And then I've got a bunch of more soft maple and some more hard maple. A few other odd pieces. Figured I'd get some inventory built up. Um, I'd sawn some in the past that was two inch thick. Seemed like whenever I had stuff that was two inch thick, everybody wanted inch and a half. So I milled all this today, inch and a half thick. Hopefully that's what people will want. But the way it works, probably anybody that comes is going to want two inch thick. But, uh, just figured we're kind of limited with the mud. Uh, I know I'd put a short out yesterday, I guess. Can't really get to the firewood processor without making a big mess. So... I just figured I'd hang close to the mill, get a little bit of this stuff done, get a little bit of inventory built up, maybe some future sales. This stuff was sawn from older wood. I put the moisture meter to it, still reading like 22%, so it's going to be a while before someone can do any work with it. We don't have a kiln. I do have a friend that is going to build a kiln, so maybe, uh, maybe this stuff will make it to his place eventually, I don't know, but I just figured I'd get it done, get it in under cover, and hopefully get some, some sales, some business out of it, so that we're not wasting our time. Um, I know a few years ago the market was really strong for this kind of stuff. I don't see as much of it advertised anymore. Maybe there isn't the demand, or maybe there just aren't as many people making it. Um, I know with with our small mill, it was quite a lot of work. They're all pretty heavy. Everything, doing everything just as manual as I could be. So, um, 
got some time in it. But the way everything, the way the grain was and all the wood, it wasn't going to make real good firewood anyway. So we'll do this as a test and maybe it'll be another bigger market for us. I keep, anytime I see something unique or with some oddball character to it or whatever, I, I put it aside. I'll put some pictures at the end of the video as well. Well, I'll have Deb put those in the video. Um, some of them had some real big curl to them. You can see those pieces up in the up against the head of the body there in my truck. Um, those were the the top cuts off a couple of the logs, just to show you what the logs looked like. They were getting pretty weathered looking, but the wood on the inside still really nice. So. Hoping to do a bunch more sawing videos for you guys. We just took a couple more substantial orders for cedar today. So I'm going to stay busy and hopefully the mud will dry up so we can get some firewood orders taken care of that we've got. And we need to really start ramping things up for the camp wood season. Spring seems to have come early here in Maine. Uh, the ice is going out of most of the lakes here in this area. Mud is kind of starting to dry up a little bit. I'd say most of the frost is let go. Whether it's going to stay that way, I don't know. But I'm kind of hoping at this point things just dry up so we can get busy. But, uh, like I said, I'll put some photos here at the end. If you like what you see, please uh, click that like button. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've been doing pretty well with subscribers. We're liking it, so we'd like to get some more, obviously. So, um, yeah, follow along. We'll have a bunch more Sauron videos, and we'll get you some more firewood videos as soon as we can. So, thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day.